So welcome to it, Africa News Network. If you've just joined us, good evening to you. Welcome. I'm going to resist the halala. It's just not my thing. It's, it's just such a simple thing <laughs> to do. It's contagious as thing. it is. <laughs> it's halal it's to, halala you, to you, South Good yeah. evening, South Africa. I'm Cindy. <laughs> I'm Clive Robertimilis-Smith. <laughs> and this is our top story for this hour. Western Cape Premier Helen Zilla has landed in hot water once again over her trip to Singapore and Japan. Zilla is under scrutiny over her recent Asian trip, which is estimated to have cost taxpayers at least one million rand. She was accompanied by her husband, who is the Deputy Director General for Strategic Programs. It was after this trip that Helen Zilla posted a series of tweets suggesting that, that not every aspect of the legacy of colonialism was bad. Zilla, meantime, or meanwhile, rather, has defended the cost, saying the trip was well worth it and the benefits will only be realized much later. She has outrightly rejected allegations that the Asia trip was extravagant. She says it was a cost-effective means of unlocking foreign investment for key sectors in the Western Cape. A spokesperson says the direct business engagements were facilitated by investment arm Westgrove for half a million rand, and Zilla says the trip cost 127 rand, or I beg your pardon, 127,000 rand on average per person, which is within the ballpark of a long trip in very expensive cities. And defending her husband's presence on the tour, Zilla says it was her first trip in eight years accompanied by her husband, and that it is allowed. So, without further ado, then we jump right into it. We're joined by Mr. Pierre Ace, who's ANC Western Cape Legislative Chief Whip, as well Whip as uh, Felon Christian, who's with uh, Scopa, uh, Chairperson and Leader. And we've also been privileged to have here with us in studio, Mr. Busan Wheeler, who's still with us right here. Uh, but let's take then the first question over uh, to the a ANC, Mr. Pierre Ace. Uh, it sounds like, once again, uh, there's justification for Ms. Zeller's uh, trip over overseas to Asia. Obviously, she's talking about it being a benefit in the future. I can think of a few things that I can benefit from in the future. Do you think it's justifiable and why are you raising these particular concerns only now? Well, we don't only raise it now. She went on this trip in March uh, this year. Um, the question was put to her in uh, the legislature in terms of the normal process that we put questions uh, to her, and she responded to that. And one of the questions that was asked to her is, what will the value be of a trip like this uh, to Singapore and Japan? And at this stage, she could not identify the value of that. Now, of course, before you take any trip overseas or wherever you go, you understand very really clear why will you be doing that and what will be the benefits to that. So, no, we followed it up immediately. We didn't get all the answers. And, of course, when they refer to the cost around that, they refer to 127,000 rand per person. But what was not mentioned, there was an additional amount of half a million uh, uh, also given to Westgrove from the Premier's department and from her uh, office. So that in total adds up to more than 1.1 million rand for the trip, not for the business people accompanying her, but only that for the Department of the Premier. All right, please stay on the line, Mr. Ace. We have Ferlan Christians, a SCOPA chairperson and ACDP leader. So what is the... Uh, good evening to you, Mr. Christians. Um, just the Standing Committee on Public Accounts, what exactly will you be investigating and why is there still an outstanding report on uh, Mrs. Uh, Zilla's uh, trip to Asia? Good evening. I think the important thing is that I also, for the first time when uh, the ANC brought it up, in the House on last week in Thursday, we heard about this trip. And um, the question always is that uh, at Scopa we will have to look at the public purse and we will have to look at if there's any irregular expenditure. So we will uh, be, um, be calling in the Premier and the Department to explain to us what, what is the value of this trip. I think we, 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 we need to get value, she said in her reply in the chamber last week that it was to promote trade and investment and tourism relations. But as uh, Member Ace was saying, she could not say if there's any value now. And that is a, a point of concern. So I think the questions we want to ask is that wha what, what is the value for the Western Cape? And is, it was the, the, the expenditure of almost over 1.1 million was that fair and just, and it's a, uh, it's can, can uh, and as we must keep her accountable for the expenditure.
All right, just in terms of the integrated development plan for the Western Cape and taking into account the recent trip uh, by Helen Ziller, the legalities around using the trade and investment uh, wing, if you will, of uh, the, the province, is that something that you'll be investigating? I think the important thing is um, that the money was paid over to West Grove from the Premier's Department. So we will definitely look into that. Um, there were questions asked and, and posed to the Premier. Is that allowed or not? I am not 100% sure. The Premier said it is allowed and it can be done. So that is one of the questions that we will ask. Why was that 500000 paid over to West Grove from the Premier's Department? Yeah, just so Mr. Ace, very quickly, in terms of, uh, you know, obviously uh, depending the probe from Western Cape Scopa, if the cost cannot be explained in terms of the benefits of the trip besides the uh, history on colonialism, what action can be taken, if any? Mr. Ace? All right, we'll suppose that to Butsang. I think we've lost Pierre there. Well, well uh, uh, Cindy, you know, the, there's various elements and aspects involved here. First of all, why do they use a company, West Grove, and so forth? When uh, parliamentarians or government officials make business trips abroad, the main and primary people that make preparation for them in the host country, Japan and Singapore in this instance, is the South African embassies abroad. Those are the people who have economic attaches who will make business preparations for them. You can invite business people from the Western Cape to go with them, but not to go and use a private company to can go and make a business trip on their behalf when we've got foreign missions which are representing South Africa abroad. That's the one element. The second element is the, 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 the Western Cape Premier to stand up and say he, she has never traveled with her husband in the last eight years, despite the fact that he's in government as well. We must give credit to that. It doesn't hold water for me because this is the very same premier who is facing internal charges within her political party for misconduct. This is the person who has actually, in my view, has insulted South Africans, has talked of how colonialism was not that much bad, there's two cases that Helen Zilla is facing internally in the DA. We don't know how it will go. And in the middle of all that, she stands up and she uses public funds and monies to go to Asia on an inexplicable trip that even Scopa was says they were not aware of it until the ANC brought it to their attention last week Thursday. I do not think the DA as a political party and the official opposition should have allowed Helen Zilla while he's facing disciplinary action within the organization should, should have taken over this trip that is already questionable despite her facing disciplinary process. They should have not allowed that yeah. process to take place. Yeah, Mr. 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 Pierre Ace, uh, how do you respond to the fact that uh, this is uh, opportunistic of the ANC in the Western Cape uh, because they're just looking under scrutiny of anything that the Democratic Alliance is trying? How, how do you respond to people who think that perhaps maybe uh, you're trying to politicise something that is easily explainable financially? No, well, definitely not opportunistic from the side of the ANC. We must keep the DA accountable. The DA come with a double standards. Uh, on the one hand, they will complain, but on the other hand, they will do exactly the same. And this money was spent in March, and that's another question that uh, it must be answered. Why was it spent in March just before the end of the financial year? Was it not fiscal dumping, 1.1 million rand? And her NEC for Economic Opportunities, Alan Windy, did not accompany her while they were both planning this trip. And that's really strange where the Premier will go without the necessary support mm -hmm. from uh, uh, the Department of Economic Opportunities or even an official of that specific department. And that really raises the concern is what happened here? Was it properly planned uh, or was it just... Uh, we had money available towards the end of the financial year, and this is just part of, okay, let's just use the money, otherwise we might not get that money in the next financial year. So that's a very serious question that must be answered as well in terms of fiscal dumping. All right, so in the absence of a uh, progress report, if you will, in terms of the benefits of the trip, what happens next, and uh, should Scopa not find anything untoward? Well, the, the next step, of course, will be the, the role of the Auditor General. SCOPA will uh, definitely have a, a role to play. And we need internal answers from the Premier, from the Department of Economic Opportunities, and, of course, uh, from Westgrove uh, itself. 
and really to understand what was the value of this. The only thing that came out from Singapore after uh, Zilla came back was her tweet on colonialism. Now, was that what she studied there? Was that was was that the value that she saw within this? Because she also stated on Thursday that they uh, actually made an, some research of what happened in Singapore from 1965. Now, what value could that uh, add to what's happening in the Western Cape? And we must exactly ask, is Singapore really uh, the place to go if you want to understand what to do in the Western Cape and in South Africa to have uh, opportunities for investment and economic growth and uh, tourism? Was that the best choice to do and to take to go to Singapore? I don't uh, think so. I think they have their own economic problems at this stage, and I don't know, and that's why she could not explain what they've learned from Singapore. All right, let's just get a response from Mr. Furlon Christians uh, from Scopa. In terms of the timelines, what happens next now that this matter has been brought to your attention? I think the important thing is that uh, we will also have to ask the Auditor General to investigate and, and, and give us a report on that. But I think the most important thing is that a Scopa can call in any MEC or the Premier to appear. But I think, um, and, and they will have to explain a value for money. I think we are here to protect uh, the public purse. We are here to make sure that the, gov uh, the government of the Western Cape is accountable. And as Scopa, we will call the Premier and call the uh, Department in to explain value for money. Because at the moment, we must be clear that it's taxpayers' money and that it must be spent to promote this province. All right, we're going to leave it there. Thanks indeed, Mr. Furlan Christians, a Scopa chairperson, and Scopa is the Standing Committee on Public Accounts, saying that they will investigate. And we also had on the line Mr. Pierre Ace, ANC Western Cape Legislature Chief. Always great having you. Thank you. Good evening and bye-bye. <laughs> Good evening.